legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. My name is Omni Flash, and I'm your guide to A3. Still alive? Today we have a special guest, Cute Gamer Chick. Cute Gamer Chick is going to help me show you how to make the ultimate shoe, the best shoe you can ever get. And the shoe, everything you think you knew about shoes have changed. I chose to lose 150k CP. That is a huge difference. Our shoe went from 548k CP all the way down to 399k CP and I will explain why we did that and explain how you should go about getting your shoe the easiest the best way possible I have, all of that is in this video if you like this video please like subscribe smash that notification bell and comment below to be entered to win a 25 dollars itunes or google play gift card i will guarantee you that i do not make a lot of videos not a huge amount of videos but my videos do make sense and i will help you get stronger all right so this is an actual shoe video we're going to talk about how to make our shoes and why you would choose to not take in fake cp that is fake combat power a lot of the uh, of the cp you get in your shoes can be fake for example in this shoe right here we have 548k and a lot of that cp goes into water attribute damage decrease water attribute damage decrease not super special not super important fire attribute damage decrease not that great not that super important Earth attribute additional damage is nice. It's nice to have additional damage anytime you want. That I sort of wanted to keep, but when I re-rolled, I did not get it. However, what I did get has magic attack. A little bit more magic attack. As you can see, the only thing that changed is the uh, the amount of the base stat. The base substat changed. So my magic attack was 5,040. It went to 5,229. But if you see the awakening stats, the awakening stats never change. So when you awaken your shoe from awaken shoe one, awaken shoe two, awaken shoe three, this is a fully awakened, awaken shoe three shoe. And you can see that it's still 42. K 619 attack no matter what the base substat is all right so it's it doesn't matter that much but I do have a little bit more attack but what I did want was that accuracy all right so based on your build based on your character it depends on whether or not you can actually hit your enemies if they have a lot of evasion if they have an evasion build you're not actually going to be able to hit them and that is terrible so accuracy 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 evasion and attack super important and that is perhaps why i chose this shoe i changed i, I actually went for seven stats all of those stats were stats that I could use. Not any of that magic attribute, fire attribute, earth attribute decrease. That's completely useless unless I start seeing people using fire, earth, or wind attribute. And it's, it's just not happening. So instead of having crappy stats that give you fake CP, I went in ahead and chose to lose 150k CP. All right, so, all right, let's talk about the best shoe. All right, so Shadora is going to be your best PvP shoe. And PvP does matter a lot. However, PvP is still going to be probably 20% of the game. I mean, I, I'm sure when you're AFK farming, you do PvP sometimes, but unless, unless you are... 24 hours hunting people 80% of the game is going to be PvE 
So Shidora is nice to have, however, not guaranteed. You don't have to have Shidora. The next is Oke. Oke, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically the owl. The owl has accuracy, which is nice. And uh, the, another one that's really nice that I don't have is Rock. The Rock. All right, not the not the wrestler, not the movie star, but an actual PVE uh, shoe, the PVE shoe. All right, so you're telling me I don't have any of that. All I have is Pidgeotto or Toucan Sam. Well, I'm just going to tell you that's fine. Absolutely fine. Most people, they say, I'm not going to upgrade any shoe unless it's a Shadora, unless it's a Rock, unless it's an OK. Well, I'm going to tell you, it does not matter. It does not matter exactly what bird you get. All right. So um, the reason is, is because of those substats. All right. So if you look at these uh, shoes, all right. So that's a 22K magic attack. Magic defense is 9,000. So uh, of that 548K, 548K or the 399K, whichever amount of substats that you chose to have, only about 50K is going to be your actual, uh, the bird. All right, so so like Igoa. Igoa has physical evasion, magic evasion, very nice defensive stats. I would argue that these, he's a really good bird as well if you want to stay alive. Uh, Igoa is, is a good bird. I love Igoa. It's good for PvP. It's not so good for PvE. But uh, like like Pidgeotto. Yeah, and, and then we have Blue Jay. We got Blue Jay right here. Also a decent bird. 50k stats is going to be the stats that you get from the bird itself. All the other stats. 300k. 350k. 500k of that stats is going to be in the substats. So... Go ahead and go ahead and awaken whatever bird you have. It does not matter all that much. Having a rock or having a Shador is ideal. However, it's not going to break the bank. It's not going to change the outcome. What will change the outcome is if you are able to change the substats and have instead of six crappy substats, having at least seven to ten good substats all right so how do you know what substats are good what substats are bad well in my opinion i think attribute defense at the moment is quite useless i believe evasion is king accuracy is king if you don't have enough accuracy you're not going to be able to hit people if you don't have enough evasion you are just going to blow up it's going to be the difference of being able to survive for 10 seconds 15 seconds and being able to get back out or going in and dying immediately so accuracy evasion we are, are the most important and you cannot rely on your soul linkers at the moment to give you the accuracy and evasion buffs because they they die so quickly now because our eight star soul linkers can get one shot by most people so you don't have to worry about that you need to worry about your innate substats and that's the great thing about shoes is that shoes are immortals these birds are immortal you cannot kill them they give you the their substats no matter what so the evasion and accuracy that you get from those substats are amazing now you can get two of the same substat like I've seen some people who got two substats of mag magic attack or two substats of magic accuracy and that is amazing they have super luck and that will make you super super strong in theory you can have nine lines of magic accuracy or magic attack which would make you a monster however what prevents that is in order to re-roll the substats on your shoe on your legendary shoe or whatever you need on your legendary shoe you need an ancient shoe it eats an ancient shoe and it eats 500 white diamonds okay whenever you re-roll so it is kind of expensive it's kind of hard to get you can only re-roll whenever you get an ancient shoe and those are not easy to come by now uh, <clears throat> here we go we're gonna we're gonna awaken what I have found we're gonna awaken all the way from awaken one to awaken three uh, what I found is that awaken one this is gonna be awaken one does not give you uh, very much stats not awakening one is just like oh uh, Okay, I'll give you 20k 
it gave me about 20k more stats that's it the sub stats you see when you awaken one you only get a tiny amount of additional stats awaken one is not actually uh, very very useful not very impressive so in order to awaken you just need to have another level one uh, legendary shoe all right so your shoe does not have to be maxed out in order to awaken your shoe can be any level and the, 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 the other shoe the other legendary shoe can be any level as well all right let's try one more time we are going to go and have transcendence and awaken your shoe to ascended transcended awaken two and we're gonna see how much combat power do we get all right the amount of combat power that we have at awakened one is 121k let's see what we get when we awaken it to transcendence awakened level two let's see it does cost a, a little bit of gold but i have plenty of gold <laughs> With that new, uh, with that new, with that new area that you get to farm, you get a ton of gold. All right, so Awaken Two is where it starts to get spicy. A very nice, very nice. You went from 121k CP combat power all the way up to 292k. Intense. That is so much more subs. You see that this blue stats. The blue stats have went up significantly. Uh, at Awaken 1, the increased magic attack was like 1,000 to 2,000. With Awaken 2, it went up to 18,000 magic attack in addition. So now, with Awaken 2, my Shadora is 292k CP. That's the amount of substats that you get. So you must, you must try to get Awaken 2 as quickly as possible then awaken three your stats double again it almost doubles again so we're gonna try this one more time anyways I, I wanted to test this this is where you get to change the sub stats but I can't because I did not have an ancient I did not have an ancient in order to show you however I did change it later on and that's what I showed you in the front of the video I dropped from 548 K from Awaken 3 all the way down to 399 simply because even I even if I lost 150k CP I gained useful CP I gained accuracy CP and a lot of evasion decreased damage so when when I evade an attack I will take a whole lot less damage it just makes me tankier and allows me to hit people all right so now we have gotten all the way at 547 K CP now that most of that CP is in the substats the awaken substats your main uh, your main shoe is not it doesn't matter that much and now if you feed the shoe it's gonna take a lot of eggs okay feeding the shoe eggs is going to help your shoe grow faster and bigger because the, the exp food see these exp food eggs will will actually are worth about two and a half times uh, a regular bird so if you feed them just birds it's not gonna give them a lot of food you want the special exp material those will feed your bird and still is incredibly tough to feed a shoe up to 60 even if you feed your bird all the way up to 65 it's still not gonna be significant CP you may only get another 20k CP most of the CP is going to be from your sub stats so I have a lot of you saying how do I even get a legendary shoe getting your legendary shoe is absolutely pretty easy it only takes 10,000 now you can go into your open guild shop the special shop that you use the tickets that you can get from dailies I also you get the open guild tickets from uh, having a Revnia and having a SCAD having SCAD and a Revnia will allow you to get 
open guild tickets, which 10,000, 10,000 tickets will get you a guaranteed legendary shoe. All right, it's, it's very easy. That is the best way to get legendary shoe. Other ways is take an ancient shoe and upgrading it all the way to max level. Then feeding another ancient shoe and you only have a 6% chance that, that turns into a legendary. That is another way. However, that way is very, very hard and it will suffer a lot. Instead, you should just join a guild that wins SCAD and Arevnia and you will be able to get either 2,500 tickets from SCAD or 1,500 tickets from Arevnia. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. Be sure to comment below, ask any questions. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait. If you guys want to, you can like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on May 15, 2020. All right, now, yeah, I mean, wait, there's even more. Today's video is brought to you by Q Gamer Chick, May Amaya, and Lumi Live TV. Go check out her amazing gameplay. As you can see, she may look wholesome, but she's not wholesome. She is toxic. And she puts the pro into pro gamer. In a competition, don't even think of beating her. Her only weakness are long spinning things and pink cones. No, 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 no. We can't have this happen to me. No. I can't be stuck here. I can't be. No! Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're not in totally bad shape. Not too sure what shape that is, but it's not totally bad. I almost said a bad word. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell to know when the next video is coming out, and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card May 15, 2021.